What are we doing today for a challenge? We got the wood splitting competition. Oh yeah. Rocky Four, Magnificent Seven, they were always splitting wood. Yeah, but not this kind of wood. This is real wood. So these are the pieces of monster wood we're dealing with, and we gotta whack these suckers until they split, not only in half, but in four pieces. This wood has been grown by a pond. It's saturated with water. It got disease, bug disease. That's why all this pitch is on it. It's just not your normal wood that you split. It's not like lodgepole pine. This is naughty ass stuff. I got a special equipment for you, Dag. You'll be using this. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's the challenge exactly? I'm gonna be splitting 15 pieces. Brandon's gonna be splitting 15 pieces. You're gonna have a bit of a handicap. 11 pieces. Oh, okay. So the rules are, you gotta take down your line, you gotta split each piece of wood into four pieces, and once you get to the end, then you gotta stack all of it where you began. We each have our markers, which show you where we need to run to to stack that wood. But there's a second way to win this thing. If you can get to the very end of your line, and you can split the big boy in four pieces before the other two are finished, you automatically win. Nice. Are you guys ready? Let's get it. Yeah. So I just figured out how Brennan wins all these contests. He comes out here before everybody else. Look what he's done. He's faced all the main cracks toward him. So when he splits them, they'll bust. Turn around, split them into quarters. Yeah, I got you, man. I see what you're doing. Yeah, it's called tactics, Pops. I'm in it to win it. Yeah, okay. We'll see. We'll see. His looks a little longer, but you notice the one on the very end of mine? It's huge. Mine's longer Massive. and thicker. <laughs> <laughs> it's called intimidation. I think we need to uh, start calling him Maynard with this outfit. <laughs> Maynard. <laughs> Why would you call me Maynard? <laughs> yeah, it looked like a Maynard. One, two, three. All grown-ups prepared us for this moment because we were always doing wood chopping competitions. Our parents had a wood stove, so it was always me, Brandon, and our dad doing it, but now this is the big one. This is the one who proves who the ultimate wood chopping bucket is. So there's a certain technique when you split this wood. If your accuracy is really good, you're gonna split it a little bit faster because you're hitting the same spot again and again. But it's not only accuracy, it's also the power to the speed plus strength equals power. So you really have to use your full body to swing that splitting ball as hard as you can, hit the same place again and again, and eventually it's gonna split. And of course, some are harder than others. So you really gotta put all your effort, in, especially the ones with all those knots and the pitch. And you really just gotta get angry at it. You just wanna split that motherfucker in two. There's no quicker way to get the wind out of your sails. The ones that split really easy, they give you a lot of confidence, and then you get onto these ones, they're full of knots, they're full of pitch, and they take forever to hit. With every single blow, it seems like you're really not doing anything. And you're going up to 20, 30 hits, and you haven't even cracked it yet, and you start slowing down big time, especially when you see the other guy ahead of you, as hard as hell. Yeah.
Somebody chose mine. It wasn't me. It was like, that was like eight knots. In. Down to one arm. Oh yeah, that burnt. Yeah. Ooh, should he still do it? So he didn't listen to our dad. He's told us again and again to wear gloves. And you know, I just didn't take that. And I should have because now I'm down to one arm. And it's really, uh, it, it's legging me behind quite a bit, you know. I felt like I was really good and all of a sudden my skin peels off my left hand and I just don't really have the powers I did. So I'm down to one arm. So I guess it goes to show you, you should listen to your dad. Yeah, someday they'll listen to Pops. But, you know, they gotta learn the hard way sometimes. It's a school, hard knocks. Early on I thought, man, I'm gonna bloat through this because I was splitting them like crazy and then I hit the hard ones, I thought. You know, in the past I'd just get a wedge and a sledgehammer and drive that sucker through there. But not this time, I just had a splitting mall. You just gotta keep whacking on it. And it's just like life. Just keep going through it until you get to the end. And I'm getting closer by the day. <laughs> to splitting the wood or to uh, the end of your life? Uh, both. <laughs> This is, uh, this wood, man, it's not your normal wood, look at it. It's so full of pitch and knots. Right near the finish line, they're bigger and tougher than they ever were. They start out a little smaller, as the closer we get to the end, the bigger the trees get, the knottier they get. Okay. I didn't see how big the quarter has got to be. So I'm gonna chip off this something. I've been stuck on this one for what feels about like 10 minutes. This is a, this is a twisted son of a bitch. <laughs> Dad's finished his line, but now he's just sitting there mocking us. There you go. Woo! Oh, look at that. All right. Now you got to pull it in quarters. Oh, shit. The bonus one. That wins everything. Yeah, looks like that's gonna win. Come on, Silva. Yeah. Shit. Right between those two knots. I don't even need to stack mine now. It's like the big bad Duke did it. Congratulations, <laughs> yeah. Dad did it. You were still the buff dude wood you splitting might be old, champion. But you're still strong. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> How's those blisters? I uh, probably should have listened to your advice. Yeah, kind of sting. Yeah. Well, they're only going to get worse because now you got to stack it all. Ah, shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>